here at Cafe D Reserve. First time here. It's here in Koreatown. Check it out. I'll see if I can get a menu for the prices. It's about $2.50 for that. Someone's happy. It's a cool place. You got desserts, coffee, and uh, if you look out the door here, this is Phil AM Highway right there. Right across from uh, this Core Tech. It's a cool place, like if you want a nice upscale cafe. There's lots of parking. Uh, right by Lovey Massage. I guess there's a law office over there. I'm parked right out here in the parking lot. Plenty of parking. It's a Sunday. People are chilling, video editing, smiling. All right, so I got this one. It's like a, a beef bulgogi breakfast. And this one here is Claire's fried chicken. Pork chop. Pork chop. Pork chop. Where we're at. Everything there, two copies and those two meals, um, only 810 pesos. If you're American, that'd be like, I don't know, $16, less than that, $15, $15. There's a silver bullet. All right, so here's the outside, Cafe de Reserve. It's right here. There's the front. And then um, I was going to show you some of the other things they have. Just a short video. Omo Chicken and Beer is right beside it. Never been here, but I'll show you what they got. You know, if, you, if you're in Angeles, come up to Koreatown and they got all kinds of great things. Here's some prices. Get a whole fried chicken for $7.49. I don't know. But, uh, and they got wings. It's kind of like a picture. We go to Boom Chicken. That's the one we like. And then, uh, if you keep on walking down this way, let's see. This one is Hot Pot. Kai Jin, I'm gonna guess, go out on a limb and say it's Chinese, could be Korean, I don't know. And then you got a Korean restaurant here. Korean restaurant, uh, Gung, I'm just gonna let you guys pronounce it. But uh, they got different kind of things here. We got like a tofu, soft tofu stew, soybean paste stew, uh, things like that. Yeah, just a little short walk, just for this building. Real estate. And this last place is uh, 52 Stone. I've eaten here, it's, uh, it's nice, it's upscale. Uh, it gets busy at night, this 52 stone. Good food, good service. Pretty crowded. There's your hours. Uh, it opens, well, in the a.m. <laughs> and it closes at 10 p.m. Not sure what time it opens. This is uh, 52 stone. It's a really nice place. Uh, since I'm here, this is kind of the heart of uh, Koreatown. Well, maybe the edge. But across the street, right over there, the Sawaki Ramen House, really good. See, I'll zoom in on it. Uh, great ramen, very uh, traditional ramen. You know, it's not like ramen that comes out of a bag. Uh, the next to it is a barbecue. I haven't been to 
Fortune Hong Kong seafood restaurant. I know there's a couple of them throughout Angelo City. It also has a lot of cars, seems very busy. And then over here, I'll show you one of our favorite places, but I don't know, they changed the name. I'll have to go back up there and see if they have, uh, they just changed the name or they changed the ownership. But uh, right over here, on the top building, right here, Unlimited Steak. It used to be a barbecue place. We ate up there and I had this whole barbecue plate and uh, it was as good as, for those of you that are familiar with like great barbecue places here in the Philippines, probably the, one of the best ones uh, that I've been to is in Vegan. This matched it, it was as good. It had a big plate of uh, barbecue chicken, bulgogi, and then American style, all, all American style, ribs, everything, about a thousand, maybe 1200 pesos. And we ate up there, it was really good third floor unlimited steak it used to be called something else and that's it I'm gonna keep these short just kind of point and shoot I just saw my phone if you like these things let me know uh, I'm just gonna be doing Koreatown stuff thanks for watching